The problem with just espresso is you drink your espresso, you put your balaclava on, and then that's it. You know, you've got your helmet on and all you're smelling is your coffee breath when you're driving around, which is, which is no fun. <laughs> Hi, I'm Formula One driver Alex Awon, and these are my 10 essentials. Anyone who knows me knows I lose everything. I think that's because I'm a lot of the time so focused on the driving that I, I honestly, my mind just goes into a different place and the amount of times I've lost a wallet, phone, passports is on and on. So air tags are my savior. My Crocs. I mean, Crocs are cool now, right? I've got basically my little gibbets and they're my travel shoes, but they're actually quite embarrassing. So sometimes when I travel with the other drivers, I'll end up um, not wearing them. They'll stay in the back. They're quite simple. If you want a bit of a backstory behind them, 23 is my race number. Sport mode, it's always engaged. Peace sign, I'm kind of known for a bit of a peace sign. Lightning McQueen. I have seen I've got Lightning McQueen Crocs out right now. So I need to go and buy them. These are so easy to use. I mean, like you can literally put them in the washing machine. You can throw them around. They smell good. Like the detergent sticks on the, on the shoe. <laughs> so it's pretty nice. So this is my Chipotle celebrity card. Very excited. I get free Chipotle. That's all I can say. What did I do to deserve this? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I'm just very privileged. I can eat this as much as I want, I think. I'm not sure my trainer will agree, but I, but I, I think I can. Moving on to the third item. These are kind of actually more my, my race kind of things. So my pit lane pass, this gets me into the circuit, which is obviously very, very handy. I do lose this a few times, but this is pretty much gets us anywhere. It actually gets us also to race control. So when we're being naughty and we got to go to uh, the stewards and they got to tell us off, we have to use these cards to, uh, to get into the buildings. This photo was taken from 2019. I was at a restaurant with my family. They asked for a photo and uh, I was late to, to respond to the email. So they just took a photo from, I think my, my mum <laughs> gave them a photo and cropped everyone out. So there you go, lovely. And then this is kind of more serious, actually. This is my notebook for, for racing. So it's a little bit messy. It's a, bit, a little bit worn down, but it's really important to me. It's where anything I do about my racing. So before every session, I have notes in here, corner to corner, basically telling me what I want to be doing in terms of my driving, in terms of setup and, and just little check marks and, and pointers for, for when I go out each session. We also got loads of numbers, you know, when we're driving around, oil temperatures, tire temperatures, when we want to pit stop. There's a lot of things to remember. And as I said, my memory's not very good. So I need to write these things down as I forget. A lot of this stuff is actually confidential because of all the numbers on there. This is one. This is like a, a normal kind of test. This is actually the first test of the year. So this would be like um, what I want to be doing corner to corner. Just little things which gets me into the zone and gets me ready. And then I don't know what this paper is, <laughs> but I think this was my waiver. This was Mexico, so this was not Mexican circuit's fault for me having a crash and dying. So I'd say these are my go-tos. This is actual performance now. This is kind of what I call natural melatonin. Again, traveling a lot. Um, sometimes we're doing week on week traveling, you know, six, jumping six, seven hour time zones. And I struggle with melatonin quite a lot. I feel like my sleep doesn't feel like real sleep. It's, I kind of wake up disorientated and don't feel very good going into the race week. So this is a, a really good substitute. It's just cherry extract. If you drink too much of this, you'll need this. And this is caffeine gum. And I'll take this pretty much before every, every session. So, well, it's a mental sport. You need to be on top of your game. Sometimes you might be you know, a little bit tired or sometimes you just need a routine. And for me, that's taking some caffeine before I get into the car. And it just um, stimulates the brain and gets you focused. A lot of drivers will, will use espresso or take an espresso, which is fine. And sometimes I do as well, but then there's also this gum. If you want a really good hit, you'll take espresso and this, which is nice because then you don't get the coffee breath when you're driving around. Caffeine gum is the way forward. This is my Oculus Rift. It's something which I've got into since COVID, obviously. When we're going to racetracks, we're spending so much time in hotels and a lot of the circuits we're going to, wherever it was, we had you know, one day, two day quarantine sometimes. And in hotels, that can be pretty boring. So I bought myself an Oculus Rift. My girlfriend does too. She has one. I think it's got competitive. So there's some really good games out there, but I was losing badly. And so I adopted, <laughs> I found this thing online, which is like a, 
like a golf grip attachment. My game has changed ever since and um, I'm still losing, but I'm losing less. And obviously with um, being in a long distance relationship, it's also actually quite nice to play games together. These are my kind of comfortable loungewear. So of course, you know, um, I've got some, some Levi tracksuit bottoms, which are very cozy and I kind of travel with these everywhere I go. And then this is my racing underwear. <laughs> so these are, these are great because I actually had appendicitis this year and I had to have a few you know, scars and all that kind of thing. To make it comfortable, they don't have any kind of seams in them. It's all pretty much one material. So they're very comfortable. And I got to wear them more and more just because I found them the best thing to wear whilst my scars were, were repairing. It's been a big thing this year in Formula One where um, underwear has become a big talking point. I would wear previous years my normal underwear and then my fire probes over the top, but apparently that's really bad for you. The material that gets used, you can get these burn marks in unwanted places. I like my body parts secure when I'm driving around. My girlfriend gives these to me and tells me I need to put these on every day, so this is gel cream, this is SPF cream, and that's, uh, and that's all. <laughs> my skin is quite sensitive, I have quite oily skin. Also with the driving as well, what's quite tricky is when you have your helmet on and you're sweating so much, you don't want kind of a, you know, a thick cream and it starts to be uncomfortable when you're driving. So the gel cream is quite good because it's quite lightweight. My girlfriend just tells me all the time to wear it. She claims you can get sunburn even indoors which um, in a greenhouse, something like that. So I'm wearing this all the time. And if I'm not wearing it, she will literally open the bottle and just cover me in it. <laughs> so there. I guess this is going to be a hard one to um, piece together. <laughs> chilies, I love chili. I love all kinds of chili. I'm half Thai. These aren't Thai chilies, funny enough. These are um, Chinese chilies from my girlfriend's family. They make the most incredible Szechuan peppers. I use this for everything. I normally have eggs in the morning. These go great with that. And there's your basic iPad. So I'm a, I'm a massive iPad kid. I love watching YouTube. And pretty much that's my, that's my chill out go-to thing. So when I get back from a circuit, you'll see me watching if you guys know Mark Greens, he's like a YouTuber, street food guy. I'm a big foodie. I love spicy food. So yeah, Mark Greens is my hero. <laughs> Going on to the next item, this is a passion of mine, photography, all kinds really. This is a Polaroid. I see these more and more now, especially in America. A lot of people and fans will come up with Polaroids instead of cameras, which is pretty cool. And you sign them and uh, give them back. But yes, it's um, a bit of fun. I normally take these with my girlfriend wherever I'm watching her compete or if I'm, she's watching me compete, we'll take photos of each other and then just the normal film cameras. So I like my film photography. I love the feeling of not knowing what you're going to see until you get the results. We'll normally have a day to adjust to jet lag or whatever. I mean, that's the perfect time to use a film camera and, and just walk around. Thank you for watching. These have been my 10 essentials.